never played with me before. There is this nice rule that I am very fond of that is called the recap <laughs> rule. Uh, each start of a new session, uh, one of you has to, or more than one of you if you so prefer, can give us uh, a reminder of what happened last session and if you do that correctly without forgetting any crucial points uh, you will receive a inspiration from the DM it's a different type of inspiration instead of uh, advantage it's a d10 that you can add to any d20 roll be that an attack and saving an ability check or you can reduce one d10 from any NPC uh, rolls so who is okay. who is up I for the task? Nice, the bard. Yep. Okay. In the previous episode of Lost at Sea. <laughs> our heroes have been hired to guard um, the hold of a ship that is moving from Chorus to Turvin going through Fortune Bay the ship was uh, commanded by Kiva Damosharis a half orc captain who was pretty much friendly to our heroes and after Introducing themselves, they organized uh, turns to watch the door since they were told that uh, they couldn't enter the hold itself until it was necessary. It turned out to be necessary because immediately after uh, the parting, one of the sailors went missing. So we investigated and we discovered that the poor guy was uh, attacked and devoured by war rats, which we proceeded to exterminate uh, without much difficulty. The last one fled, but the wizard with mending and a piece of wood managed to pluck the hole from which the rats came. We still suspect there's a nest in there, but it's not important now, because <clears throat> While we were smack dab in the middle of a bay, a freak storm washed us, uh, washed us away, and now we are awake somewhere, we don't know where, next to a cave. This is probably because there's, there, there were three chests who appeared like uh, they have been disinterred from somewhere <clears throat> and according to the captain when she spoke to the paladin um, they were uh, sought after by a cabal of very powerful wizard who probably and if you ask me pretty stupidly conjured the storm to sink because we don't know if the, the ship effectively sunk as of now and then retrieve probably by magical means those three chests and here's what we are waking up coughing, coughing seawater drenched but alive roll credits <laughs> excellent <clears throat> with that being said uh, you all lost consciousness as you were trying to fight against the storm to keep the the ship intact to make it pass through the night and possibly continue your journey after that unfortunately for you either through magical or natural means the storm was uh, of an destructive power that you did not expect you don't know how you have not uh, sank to the bottom of the sea considering 
you have your equipment, some of you have uh, heavy weapons and armor that could easily uh, be too be of too much weight that you could do nothing about it. But as you all awake now, in what looks like the shore, probably of Turving, you notice none of you have uh, sunk. But instead, you are at this sort of cave, maybe? Uh, you, you can feel the sand of, of the shore and specifically you, Taro. You were the one who, who gave us the recap. You have been chosen to to be the one that's being dragged over the the sand. And as you look up to to find out who or what is trying to to take you to some place else, you see this little fella here. Oh, no. That's cute. Oh, no, no. Okay, so everyone is awake. You are still trying to... The, those first moments of waking up after something terrible, you're still trying to find out where you are, what happened to you. But Taro, you, you see this little guy, uh, he didn't seem to notice you you awake so he just keeps pulling you to uh, some uh, probably somewhere deep into this dark damp cave what do you do um okay i uh, taro opens his eyes looks at the fishman and Goes like Anhel Taro. Taro is not food. <laughs> what? 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 What heck? What? Are, are you alive? I was pretty sure you were dead. He he, he tries to to touch you like just point his finger and try to see if you're truly alive. Wow. Okay. So basically, what? Uh, what Taro does, does is like, uh, like you know, um, like what dogs do when they're wet. They shake themselves so <laughs> he shakes off like the water from his plumage. It's like, of course, Taro is alive. How would he be speaking then? Well, this is Taro is speaking to you, is he not? Well. So, if you're alive, he looks to the others. Oh. It's, it's a little bit awkward, but... Well, good for you. One moment. Where? Okay, uh, so Taro gets up and starts to see if everyone that he sees is alive and wakes them up wake up come on up up the only people here in this shore are the five of you of all okay. the other sailors you don't see any signs of, of where they they might be okay um i am still keeping on uh, an eye on uh, little fish guy he's friendly but i have I got the feeling that the rest of the crew was dragged in the cave to be eaten, so it's better I wake up everyone, so I do so. Come on, come on, get up. You're not dead yet. Up. Whoever's are closer to we me. Are we awake? Or are we just like, like, are, are we... Awake it up? What, what's the situation? You're all awake. Oh, great. We are awake. Yeah. 
are we are we are we laying down or are we like standing up? Like we're actually conscious. That's up to you. But uh, as Taro comes to to take a look at the others, uh, the fish fishman here he says, well, uh, "I guess that's it then. Good luck. If you die somewhere around here, then I might enjoy a meal. But see ya." And he starts to leave. Where is here? Uh, uh, you're asking me. Where are we? I am. Well, this is the cave. The cave of what? What? Well, uh, the cave. Uh, I only know that it's a cave. I'm gonna just like take stock of myself to make sure I still have all of my stuff, and then like yeah. take a look around. Me, me too. Me too. I should be dead for sure. Yeah. You you don't know exactly what it is, but you ha still have all of your equipment, your your tools, your weapons. Yeah. This does not look like the afterlife. No, I. I have a question. Could I? Uh, I think I established last time before we, uh, before the ship wrecked, uh, I was doing like navigator stuff. I was checking like the weather and all that. Yeah, exactly. Could I, could I make a check to see if like that storm was natural or not? Like, like whether it was like whether it came in just a little bit too quick for it to be a natural thing. Okay. Uh, certainly, uh, you did not, uh, anticipated that storm, at least not at that strength, uh, I should say. But you can make a nature check to see if you can determine for sure if it is magical or not, or just a coincidence. Uh... <laughs> Mr. Mr. DM, sir, may I may I have advantage? Mm, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Mr. DM, sir. <laughs> How bad was that? I mean, like I have a zero, so uh, you know I needed that advantage. All right, let's see. Bam. Wow. Uh, yeah. uh, and no, I was okay. I was too preoccupied. <laughs> yeah. So was getting up. Can Domino assist him with this? Oh, no, I already had advantage. I don't know. Because I have advantage I mean, like, normally on it. Mm -hmm. You can roll one I... more nature check. Uh, neither advantage nor disadvantage, just the, the regular one to, to add to that. Uh, me? So, uh, Domino, sorry. Okay. Alright, one straight roll. Let's see what happens. <laughs> there we go. That is an 18. Oh, damn. Alright. Nice. Okay. It's really hard to tell. There are... Um, it's 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 unlikely, but not impossible, that the storm was of natural causes. You did not predict it, but it could be either a mistake mm -hmm. on your part. But you're not sure, but you're ninety percent sure that it's probably magical. The, the balance hangs more on someone conjured a storm. Someone or something. Because there is also uh, randomness in magic. There are things that are not explained, that could not be explained by, by uh, the conjuration of one individual. But instead some, some magical occurrence that can happen out of nowhere. But... Your, the balance hangs more on the side that it's magical in nature, yes. Okay. Okay. 
Well, after That's checking concerning. my stuff, uh, Callus is going to kind of look at everybody and say, well, definitely seems like Kiva may have underestimated the people looking for her gear, because us surviving this, the storm itself, it just seems extremely unlikely. I mean, the power needed to do it normally. Concerning. That was a bad boarding action. Yeah, or or is maybe kind of stupid, right? Mm. What if the boxes would sink to the bottom of the ocean? How do you get them then? Well. My kind could swim. Maybe they mm, hired some seafaring mercenaries like me. Yeah, I'm just gonna point at the fish people or those guys. There's just one fish. Or fish guy. Oh, sorry. Uh, I, I have another question. Uh, this ship on the uh, the map. Uh, is that uh, the ship we were on, or is that just a part of the map? Yeah, it's the it's probably not 100% matches the description, but it's supposed to be the ship you were. You uh, your characters okay. can recognize it. I'm gonna suggest like, why don't we take a look around to see if we can figure out where the other people yeah. went? Like, if they were dragged in, or if there's any bodies on the boat still, or are they all just vanished? yeah? Because that seems really unlikely. I Let's check. I think the we hold should. First. Yeah, we should. We should check the hold. Maybe get some gear. You know, so what we can. Especially if our charge is still on board, we should secure it. These fish people. Look I don't know like how they likely they are. but they are just different. It's odd. But okay. Mm. But yeah, let's salvage what we can and then try to find where we are. Okay, so um, are any of you going back into the ship? Or into the wreck? Yes. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. As you do, uh, the, the little fishman who was about to walk away, he turns back and says, Oh, you're, you're coming back in? Okay, so I'll wait here. That's a bad sign. Why? <laughs> That's still totally a bad sign. Just in case some of you <laughs> dies and, and there's still yeah. there's still some for me. He's waiting for time. I how how about this? If any of us dies, we'll let you know. <laughs> okay, but I you can't don't, wait you don't you don't gotta wait out here. I'm not missing much. Go ahead. Yeah, at least our corpses will serve some sure. purpose after that we die. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I'm gonna I guess beach armor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just like make sure my shield and spear are ready and watch that guy while you guys search the boat. Like that's not good. <laughs> yeah, I'll stay with you. I... I'll go in. Like I'm not saying we eat him, uh... but it's like I'd prefer that than him eat us. Just because he looks friendly doesn't mean he is. I mean, he is. You know, there's five... I mean, he's casually eat us. I don't think that sounds friendly at all. Hey, look, we can't judge other cultures, you know what I mean? (laughs) Yeah, he's friendly, but he's just a lot pragmatic. He he seems like a scrounger, you know what I mean? I mean, what what are we going to do with our body, you know what I mean? I mean, it... uh, He's an utilitarian. Yeah, eating people is cross-culturally not okay. <laughs> uh, I mean... Remembering that we all serve some other purpose. Our body's not ours anymore, so it's better to be eaten by someone. Yeah, I mean, you know, what need do we have? Our spoon is an inhabitant anymore. Anyway. Yeah, you too. Yeah, and I have no Nor plans to eat I. anything else to kill guys. <laughs> He's very respectful. I mean, to each their own, you know. You know, you know. I, I will respect your wishes, but you know, yeah. I can't say he will. So just, just, let's, let's just keep that in mind and stay alive. On yeah. that note, 
please don't let him eat me. I would prefer it if you burned me first. Oh, okay. This is oh, the Next. See, we're learning about each other's preferences for when we die. <laughs> yes. Well, if I die, though, it's okay. Uh, well, this is fun. Let's go to the ship now. Yes. Yeah, let's go examine yes. the rickety wreck. Okay. Yeah. Rickety, rickety wreck. Mm. Yeah, I don't know how this is going to work out. Yeah, okay. As you came back to explore to see if you find anything, any signs or any clues to what might have happened, you can all position yourselves in the inside of the ship, now uh, partially broken and partially filled with water from the sea. Uh, it is seawater, so it's it's uh, you can see the waves entering it. It's there's the motion of the of the water. Okay, although it d doesn't ocean look very pretty in the <laughs> in the map, uh, it's it's what it's supposed to be. Okay. Question is: uh, Are any of you going to take a look at the 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 chests you found that contain yes. the, the supposedly uh, most valuable? Yeah. Okay. As you go there, you find that the 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 place the the exact part of the ship where the the chests covered in dirt from the outside where uh, they are uh, the, the part is still intact so they should be there but none of the chests are there to be found is it partially submerged in that spot the other side yes but the side that you the chests were uh, initially it's not submerged so they should be there but they are not are there any sort of drag marks or any footprints yeah. or anything that we see? Yeah, uh, one of you uh, can try either investigation or... I think investigation is the ideal check. I have a plus four to it and advantage unless uh, somebody has better. No. All right. Let's see, what, let's see what happens. Oh, come off it. Double <laughs> fours. Oh, unfortunate. It's hard to find any drag marks. The the water is washing much of of the clues away and you cannot know for sure if of this these signs. Well, it looks like the water's washed away any tracks that I might have seen. So, I guess let's check and see what else is here, guys. Sounds good. Okay, now, for... Uh, I don't want any rolls. I want to hear what are your um, passive, pa passive perception scores. 10. Uh, or 12. 14. Sorry. Okay. Callius is 12. So, I guess most of you notice something. As you were preparing to turn back to, to, to see the other side of the ship, on the water you see a creature lurking, waiting to uh, try and, uh, and attack you as soon as you show any signs of coming into its direction. The creature looks like a fish, one that you could only see in the deepest abysses of, of the sea. The creature has only one big eye, and its teeth are very, very sharp and protruding. 
One with knowledge of the sea creatures could tell that it is a abyssal eye. A fearsome, dangerous creature that should not be uh, overestimated. Underestimated. Oh, mercy. It also shouldn't uh, be that high in the water, right? <laughs> it happens sometimes. It's it's a it magical it's a magical <laughs> fish from the from the bottom right. that can survive lower <laughs> pressure. <laughs> oh. But yeah, you certainly have heard of it. It sometimes is get caught in the in, in fishermen's nets and whatnot. And has it seen us yet? Yeah, and you know what else? I'm rolling initiative, so shall you. But oh. since it is a oh, fish, oh, okay. you're you're a kind of safe as long as you are not into one of the the tiles where the sea touches. Okay, hold on. I clicked on. Okay. Stupid thing work. Yeah, it didn't work either time. Yeah, yeah, no, I clicked my thing. Just... Let me manually add you guys here. Uh, where are uh, Taro? Are you down there with the with the rest? Um, uh, I was. Look, every everybody because I remember me and. Uh, of you were staying outside. Yeah, I was. Uh, I was outside okay. watching the little fish. Yeah, we were. We were guarding the fish guy. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure if we heard it or not. I rolled a two for initiative anyway. Yeah. <laughs> uh, whenever you you if you wish to to go in there, one of you, you just put your tokens there, and I can manually add you as well. But if, oh, go ahead. If we hear we the hear... sounds of fighting, we we will, I guess. Yeah, if I hear something going on, we will. Otherwise, I'm just still waiting for them. Okay, no problem. So, I guess that means it's Domino's turn. Domino, you notice the creature in time. It... I... Go ahead. No, no, I was just going to say it's dangerous down here, so what do you do? <laughs> um, I will point it out to the others, and I will ask them, do we leave it alone, or do we want to try and kill it? And... Perhaps use it I, for food. On my turn, if we don't want to go about being hostile right away, uh, I can try and do what I did with the wharf rats and try to communicate it to uh, communicate with it to, to so we remains calm, so we can get a position or, or whatever we need to do. Okay, uh, I it's up it's up to you. I will ready my crossbow if it makes any hostile actions to attack. Perfect. Uh, what about Rido? What do you do? Well, for now, I will just try to ready a firebolt. Ready? Yes. And move a little way. Can I move, um, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Be away from the water. Okay. My little guy uh, doesn't have lots of options, but at least one of you is within five feet of the of the water, so he can swim here and try to attack. Will any of your uh, ready the actions trigger? Yep. So go ahead. 12 to hit. Uh, a 12 total is not a hit, unfortunately. Okay. It's very sturdy for a fish. But it, it triggers my action too, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me try. Especially because it's... A 15, oh, a 15 on the other hand will do. 
Right, it's for fire damage. Uh, you wanna test how it does on, yeah. on uh, a fish inside water? <laughs> uh, technically, I would have resistance, but nah. Let's right. keep it simple for now. You're still level 1. And this creature, as you can see, it's health bar with a 4 points of damage. Still very good. So, Caspian, the creature, uh, swims okay. forward. It lunges at you with its Ooh. mouth wide open for a bite. Yeah. Oof. Uh, that does not hit. Yeah. My, my AC is 14. Lucky for you. <laughs> As it lunges forward, it splashes on the water and then kind of uh, twitches its body f so, uh, so it comes back oh. into the water. As far as you can tell, it cannot survive on land, so you have that upper hand for, for it. Uh, it's your turn, I'll, Caspian. I'll just, I'll just revise. Oh, okay. Uh, I know since it's already taken damage, uh, it might not work as well, but I'm still going to try. Uh, to uh, communicate, we mean no harm. Might work, might not. Worth a shot, I feel like. Okay. Uh, remind me what what is the the, the uh, wording of that skill? It's only beasts. Uh, it's beasts with a swimming speed. Okay. This creature is not a beast. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me. Where is? I think it's this big beast. Yep, dang, alright. Uh, okay, well in that case, I'm gonna move. Right, well, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guiding bolt it. That's what I'm gonna do. Ooh, okay. Guiding. Best spell. Uh, I'm, I'm rolling. I'm rolling like all garbage. That's the only thing that shocks, but it's the best spell. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Okay. Well, uh, guess I'm done. So before we move on to the next turn, will you? Uh, try to fight it all the uh, all the way. I mean, why not? You know, it it's kind of we we could really use the supplies here, and this thing is an abomination. So you know, I don't feel too bad. Okay. Do do we hear the sounds of fighting? Yeah. Now you you hear the sounds of fighting, of spells being cast and whatnot. Okay. Taro's moving and like entering the ship. Let you hear the Ashura Pakante Malagashura Magai. Yeah, I'm gonna head down there too. I'm trying to remember how to put my token in. Just drag it and drop Bye. it. Yeah. yeah. From the oh. journal. Okay. Mine is 14. Uh, What's your initiative boost? Plus two. Alright, you go first before I do. Let me, um, I still have to... Yeah, I have to put, you have to yeah. put it. Uh, at turn. Uh, Kalos, did you manage to put yourself on the map? Just yeah. So I go into my character, right? Yeah. Uh, you don't I... need to open your sheet for this. Just uh, see that on the journal and just click and drag from the journal into the map. Yeah. Click on the name, not the icon. Yep. Drag and drop. Nice. That's what I was doing. I was clicking on the. I was clicking on the icon, not the name. I got a two for initiative. Okay, let me uh, put you here and a two and for you, Taro. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay, so it's Taro and uh, Domino. Uh, both of you act on the uh, on the same turn. 
All right. Um, As Taro comes you... down, I point at the fish man, fish beast. Oh. Um, fairy fire. <clears throat> better, better I give you advantage on hitting that thing. Dex save DC 13. For the fish. Dex save. Pew. 12. Nope. Now you all have advantage on hitting it. Let me put the thingy here. And that's my turn. I uh, will use my armor of Agathis, giving myself five temporary hit points. And I will ready my sword after that. Nice. Okay, armor of Agathis. Interesting. Uh, it's an action, right? So we move on yes. to right. Right up. Right, well, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna climb up a little bit uh, the stairs, I think. <laughs> Here. Um, so kind of protected among the team. Now try to swing any piece of wreckage at the fish using catapult. Nice. Pay, pay, pay. So, what is it, a deck save? Or an attack it's, roll on your part? It's a attack roll, but I think it's just a lagged command. Oh, yeah, cast level one. Yeah. Apparently this person is just not coming out. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah it, it, it went. Oof. It went two times. Yeah. <laughs> well, you have advantage because of fairy fire, so... Yeah, yeah so... but a 12 won't do. <laughs> Damn. Let me see if it works there. It's just a... Uh, get the boots. Spell. Yeah, I think I just miss it. Oh, you don't have yeah. the text. Okay. Uh, catapults. Choose one object and uh, it flies a straight line in direction. Choose before fall to the ground. Stop here. Uh, the object would strike a creature. That creature must make a dexterity saving throw. On a failed save, the object strikes the target and stops moving. When the object strikes no, it's, something. it's just a save, right? Yeah, it's just so a it's save. So it's dex 13. Yeah. Yep. But it's a save or nothing, I think. Yeah, save or nothing. I don't, yep. ta I don't take half on a, on a, on a failure. Oh, on a success, sorry. Uh, Dex. Pew! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Brutal. Well, I just gotta change the spell on my shit so I don't get it wrong. If it, I just stay, stay there. If the fish could talk, it would be laughing at you right now. But instead, yeah. it's only thinking of food, 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 food. So, this time around, none of you. Uh, came too close to it. So instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swing right here and uh, I'm gonna frighten these guys here because it has an evil eye, which is a 30 foot cone where it uh, brings fear to the heart of mortals. So the three of you uh, shall make a wisdom saving throw DC 13. Rido. Taro and I think Chaos. I have an advantage okay. against that. Uh, wisdom or be frightened? Okay. Yeah, it's the you frightened see. condition. Okay. Whatever you have for that benefits you on those. And wisdom, 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 wisdom. Say plus one. Um. Save. Okay, 17. Okay, 
Seven. Seven. Uh, do we have advantage against this for being an elf? No, I think it's just charm, not frightened. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, yeah, I nine. probably am frightened. Okay, so the two, uh, the mage and warrior are frightened by the fish and the Kenku bard is like, they're like just, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> But speaking of sea and fishes, now it's up to Caspi. What do you do? I am gonna try and true, try go, uh, guiding bolt. I'm gonna guiding bolt it in the face. Yeah. All right. With advantage now. Oh yeah, an advantage. Nice. Okay. Hopefully with advantage, I can hit something. Oh, funny. let's see. Fifteen. Fifteen hits. <laughs> yeah. Alright, it's 46 radiant. Nice. 15 damage. 15 radiant damage. Yeah. Tonight we shall have cooked fish. My point is this fury. I cast you out. And I cast that boat. <laughs> Yeah. And that's it for me. That's all I can do. Next one is Kalis. So, Kalis, the thing about being frightened is you have disadvantage as long as the fish is within your line of sight and you cannot move forward. You cannot move towards the, the source of your fear. So, yeah, so that, that only gonna... brings, uh, leaves you with the ranged attacks. Wow. I wasn't going to move closer to it anyway because I was afraid it would drag me in the water. So I'm going to throw a javelin at it. Okay. Which it has fairy fire, right? Yeah. So I'm just doing it yeah. regular, so yeah. no disadvantage. Yeah. Exactly. Uh huh. So I got, a, I got a 10. Yeah, a 10 is not a, a hit. Uh, I am dead. Oh, I'll pull out another javelin and then stand there. <laughs> Double instances of advantage against one of disadvantage is still leaves at the normal roll. Yeah. All right. It doesn't matter the number of advantages or, or disadvantages. Yeah, so. I forgot that because it rarely occurs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a very strong tool of early levels for you. Uh, you can now, Kalos. You can now, at the end of your turn, you can repeat the save. So luckily, you'll not be frightened next turn. Nice. There we go. That is a, that's a success. So now I'm just mad that I chucked a javelin in the ocean. <laughs> New round, Taro, Domino, I'm... one of you can... Oh, okay. I, uh... I, can, I can go get it for you after the battle. <laughs> I certainly I'm... can't, so thank you. Okay. I'm I mean, picking can... out my mini Ico drum and spend my last <laughs> spell slot by casting Thunder wave. Oh. Mi mi mini taiko drum stick and boom. <laughs> Thunder wave. I think it's a strength save. Let me check. Taiko drums are awesome. Uh, well, no Constitution saving throw. If you if you fail, you take. 2d8 thunder damage and you're pushed 10 feet away and if you if you succeed you're not pushed and take uh, half damage 15 half isn't it a cube though yeah it's a cube in front of me so half damage it is okay 2d8 rolling the dice I rolled it, but it's nine, so four damage, and it's not pushed. Okay, and yeah, right. I am moving away. Okay, Domino. I am not a frontliner. <laughs> All right. 
5, 10, 15, 20, 25 in its face. Come on. Roll. Alright. And just in case for a crit. Nope, another double set of numbers. 18, so 23 to hit. Okay. It's a hit. Come on. That is 10 Ooh. points of damage. Nice damage. And I'm snarling in its face. <laughs> well, I'll just uh, move a little bit away. I and can't. I only have 25 foot move speed. Oh. No, no, no. I was just going to move it away. Oh. And just firebolt it again. Uh, yes. Uh, you're frightened, right? Yeah. Okay, rule normal. It's uh, a normal rule. Yeah, a 10 is, is a miss. I missed it. Nice. So, for my little fella here, uh, yes, I shall try and take a bite out of this dwarf that's here. Oof. I take 5 damage, right? Yep. And you take 12. How does that I'm down to 5. Feel? Okay, so you're still alive. You can tell the creature was expecting to to bite and drag you down into the sea with it because it is so damaged right now that it will try to to flee away you have an opportunity attack obviously but do I have advantage on that or no? Uh, yes it is still very fired but if you fail the creature will be uh, 50 feet deep into the water, probably out of everyone's reach. Uh, well, 21 on the first. Okay. It's another 10 points of damage. 10 points? Excellent. You kill the beast. Slay nice. Queen. Yes. Let's go. What is it? What is it? What is it? Look Fish like? for dinner, boys. It's a large gruesome creature it's extremely yes. ugly and as you try to take a, a close inspection of it, now that it's dead it's not going to attack you back you can tell that it's 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 a mutated creature probably it's not probably it is a creature from this plane of existence but something happened to it that it now resembles more an aberration than a normal beast. Probably due to, oh. to either yeah. magical changes, experiments, something of the sorts. But there are still oh, yeah. no like. Yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. Sorry, I was gonna say like, uh, like the knowledge that like this fish has been mutated. That it wasn't like it, someone has like fucked with it, basically. Uh, that knowledge really angers Jasmine. I think that's very visible to everybody. That really bothers it. I'm gonna drag it up onto dry land, and I'm removing those teeth. We already have rat teeth, now we're gonna have fish teeth. Excellent. Yes. There's still no other like bodies from the other sailors or anything down here in the water or anything like that. No, we find nothing. Mm. I want to get Is inside for experiments. Well, that thing's super gross, guys. Are there any supplies left in the bunks that are not submerged? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Uh, yes, supplies. You certainly find some goodies here and there uh, not the the treasure chests as I mentioned before but other than that you can find some some peculiarities maybe we can trade this fish body to that fish guy upstairs for some information he seems hungry that could work maybe we should 
maybe we should harvest what we can from it first. You'll be more interested in the meat, but we might find something that we can actually eat with. Well, Taro would not make sashimi out of it, but we could get the eye. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That, you know, the teeth. Uh, maybe it ate something, you know, that that could be of use to us, you know what I mean? Yes. Uh, magic weapons are notoriously hard to digest. Who knows? Yeah, let's see if it solves uh, anything. Sure, but we're done checking it out then. Uh, real quick, can I get, can I get the javelin? <laughs> uh, that, uh, someone threw a javelin at it. Uh, can I, can I go get that? Yes, you can, you can grab the javelin. Okay. I'll grab the javelin and, uh, give Might it to them. Your fully thrown javelin, thank you. <laughs> yes, yes, there you go. <laughs> the leather workers kit that you mentioned last session was down here. Is that still here or is that gone? The it's it's the only uh, tool set that you still find. Uh, it's that the leather workers kit. Uh, you also well. seem to find some gold and some uh, objects that was supposed to be sold whenever you you reach the, your destination. And one uh, weird glass jar. Three inches in diameter, uh, containing. Uh, let me roll. Four doses of a thick mixture that smells faintly of aloe. The jar and its contents weigh uh, half a pound. It's a magical <laughs> item known as Cocton's. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Sorry, Cocton's uh, ointment. Kyofen. Kyofen. Yeah, just that guy's like, I got it. <laughs> yeah, that guy's. <laughs> oh, uh, or in the SRDS restorative ointment. Much better. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and how much does that restore per use? Uh, let me double check. Uh, as an action, one dose of the ointment can be swallowed or applied to the skin. The creature that res uh, receives it regains 2d8 plus 2 hit points. Ceases to be poisoned and is cured of any disease. Oh, uh, may I have that? Um, yeah, go ahead. Sweet. Like, you need to use it, or...? No, I just figured, uh... I figured I could hold on to it. If that's yeah, right. that works. I can keep it in my cleric stuff. As for the like money and stuff, do we just want to have one person hold it until we get somewhere where it matters? Sure. Just so we don't forget what the, what the item does. Cool. Who's going to hang on to oh. it? The cleric. The cleric, I guess. Yes. Alright. Uh, yeah. Wait. Ignore that. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, just ignore that. I don't know. I'm trying to. <clears throat> well, and as for the as for the fish, uh, the eye seems to to have some sort of utility. After all, it it manages to. To, brought, uh, to bring fear to you, right? Yep. So, from the fish, you can have its meat as kind of like a, a, a ration. So, you can have, let's say, for the five of you, you can have two uh, days of ration, uh, since it's a large creature. We'll pass on the demon fish meat, guys. Yeah. I'm going to give the demon fish meat to the little fish man upstairs. And yeah, that seems like yeah. a last resort pile of meat. You can. We still yeah. have our rations, so. Yeah. I can prepare it to be more palatable. I, Taro can make sashimi. <laughs> a cool I don't. I don't, I don't. So. I 
I don't think we should uh, defoul this beast more than we need to. I mean, I can make Personally, sure out of it. I mean, also, it just kind of seems repulsive to eat it. I don't know, I'm not really... not very appetizing. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. We are not eating it. We are giving it to... small fishmen outside in exchange for information. Oh, wait, hold on. We need... Hold on. Hold on. I have an idea. We could... We could keep a little bit of it. Maybe refine it as, like, a poison of some kind, or, like... And then we can like spike, you know what I mean? That could be helpful. Maybe. I don't know. An idea. I mean, I've got a poisoner's kit. So, yeah. I mean, I'm proficient with it. Galios, Galios would be like, I don't know anything about butchering and the uh, demon fish, I guess. So. I mean, that's all you. there's a lot here. We could, we could try and split it in half. So. Uh, half of it we can do with our stuff with, and then half of it we can give to the fish man. Uh, cause he seems small, he doesn't need the whole fish, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Oops. Sorry. Right. Uh, but continuing on. Uh, you managed to extract three of the, the fish's teeth, uh, which you can sell for five gold pieces each. And Ooh, nice. lastly but not least, the eye. The eye, as far as you can tell, it could be uh, used as a material component for any spell that uh, causes fear as one of its effects. And if you do so, the material component will be consumed, but the creature will have disadvantage on the saving throw. Right. Mm -hmm. Nice. You have to, to write that, that down because that is homebrew, so <laughs> there's no way right. to. Can I hold on to it? Sure. Mm -hmm. My spell's probably all cause fear in anyone. I Mine won't probably either. have a spell that causes fear. I, I think all of your classes have at least one spell eventually. Yeah, yeah. Eventually, but I'm not really expecting to do that. I mean, maybe, who knows. For now, I think it's, it's fair to say uh, you can hold on to it. Here, bro. So Domino was hurt pretty badly, right? Yeah, fairly. Down to five. I'm gonna touch your shoulder and do lay on hands to heal you five hit points. Appreciate that, thank you. Be like, uh, way to take a hit. It was necessary. I was a little distracted by the giant eyes, so good job. Yeah, it was pretty pretty distracting. Pretty gross. Extremely gross. Not into the gross eyes. What's it? Well. Doesn't look like there's too much left down here. C took most of it away. Mm. Yes. Probably go see if the little fish man knows anything. Any tall folks settlements or anything. Also, Taro would like, be... would like to know where the rest of the sailors went. Exactly where we are, too, would be great. Well, once we get out, maybe we can find some high point of land and look around, see if we can find anything. Uh, do we find yes, anything going into your stomach? No, you don't find anything. Oh, okay. You was just okay. hungry then. Let's get out. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. As you get out, the the fishman on the outside. Ah, oh, you're all still alive. And he oh, starts we to got leave. some meat. Oh, uh, meat? See, here comes the big old fish that we're dragging up the stairs. Oh. Oh, lots of meat. Oh. Indeed, we brought you a snack. Maybe you could help us. We 
figure out a way out of here. Uh, you managed to kill the the big eye just by yourselves. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. We did. I I see why. We did. I see why you survived the the shipwreck. Then you're all very powerful individuals. I mean, I wouldn't say powerful. We're we're all right. I feel like. But the the eye, the big eye, has terrorized my people for for many months now, and months. none of us managed to. To, to kill it before, so it's impressive, really impressive. I mean, a, a little heads up that it was down there would have been great. That would have been that would have been very nice. Well, honestly. But you never you never asked what was in these waters. Well, well you right. could have been like, oh, by the way. Regardless, <laughs> we've, we've done your people a great, great favor. Perhaps your people could return said favor and point us in the direction of some civilization, perhaps, or a seafaring vessel that we can use to find civilization. Civilization? Uh, you mean where folk like you came from? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. I don't know of any civilization nearby, but... Since now that you mentioned, there is one person just like you that came here not too long ago. Are they still here? Uh, no, he left. He left uh, shortly before you all wake up. Hmm. Okay. Do you, do you know where he went? Well, he he left through the to the to the cave system. Just what did he look like? Here. He was uh, a very weird fellow. I'd never seen anyone like him. Instead of scales, he had this weird, soft thing uh, all over his body. And there was these black strings all over his, his head. I'd never seen anyone looking quite like him. Also, it was a human with black hair. Yes. Okay. <laughs> It had pointy ears or normal ears? Uh, well, ears... Uh, it's it's like that thing in my head, but shorter. Oh, uh, yes, they were fairly pointed, I guess. Okay, so it was an elf. I don't have or much of a, of a reference to know what's pointy, what's not. But yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, that, that's something to keep in mind. He might not know the difference between human and elf ears. Yeah. Which one yeah. of us did it look most like? I just kind of like gestured all of us. Mm. Well, certainly you, he points to right. Oh, okay, it was an elf. Or maybe a half elf. Okay, and did he go through here alone before the shipwreck or after the shipwreck? Yes, before. He, he told us he was expecting something big that we could benefit from. That's why we we allowed him to stay with us. What? Was he here long? Yes. Did he leave anything behind? No. Before he got here, was the big fish here? Or did that only show up after he arrived? Oh no! Yeah, the big fish was here for months. Yeah, the big fi the big eye was was here for much much longer. Right. Okay. Well, can you was show the, us was the, the fish cave? Will you get out of here? Uh, yes, yes, of course. We'll leave some meat for me and my friends. You can have it all. Oh, uh, oh, thanks. Oh, oh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. You're too kind. What? A, what? A, what about the whole, like, you know, save half thing, you know, we talked about it. Ah, yes. He, he, I'm he, assuming he, that you he, took he, that he, before you drag oh. it up. That's what I'm saying. So they can have all that's left after we take our part. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, there's still three chests on shore. Uh, I guess let's go play with the chests. 
I'm gonna I ask guess. him if there's any dangers in the cave that we should be aware of that he knows about, like the fish or anything else. Ah, yes, there are many dangers. The world is a dangerous place, you know. I'm looking for like more specific, like what have you seen in the cave? Because you live in there or nearby, correct? Ah, yes, lots and lots of dangers. There are those damned crabs. They're everywhere and they multiply. They're always trying to ambush you. Also, there's this big, uh, big green toad that always torments us. He likes to eat my my people. So there's some people eating frog and many small crabs that ambushes us. Yes, those are the worst. Okay. Also, there are those little floating guys. I don't know their names. They they like to talk a lot, just uh, like you. Uh, oh. you talk about the whole thing. Little floating talking eyes. That's all right. That sounds awful. Uh, An ambush awful. crab. But uh, if I may suggest, we may want to rest before we tackle all that. <laughs> yes. Taro agrees. Yeah. He's very yeah. wise. We recoup and rest. Yes. I'm gonna give a little kick in each of the three chests on board uh, uh, or shore to see if any of them will try to bite my leg. Mm. I forgot. Is it like nighttime or daytime or? We're in a cave. I don't know if that we know. Well. Yeah, I thought we were like on the beach next to the cave. Yeah. Yeah. There, there is, uh, yeah, there is no. Yeah, as far as you can tell, it's night time because you can see the the entrance of this cave and it's all dark, so. If it, if it were day, you probably would see the uh, at least the the rays of light. Some, some lights some coming in. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess we should set up camp. Yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe start a fire. I will firebolt some uh, some wreck. Pieces of wreck, maybe, and yeah. try to make a bonfire with that. Okay, it's a long rest then that you're looking for. Yes. Mm. Okay. Just so I know. Perfect. As you start the the preparations for for a long rest, uh, shall us make a short rest in in real life and be yes, right I'll back take in five. Some water. Yeah. Yep. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'll see you in five. Yes. See you in five.
Everyone here? Yep. I think so. Nice. Okay, so shall we continue then? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Uh, perfect. So, uh, how far away from, from the shipwreck or if uh, are you going to take the, the long rest or are you going to do just right there? Uh, I think here where we are. Perfect. Next to the fire. Yeah. So in that case, I, uh, during the 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 beginning of your of your long rest, uh, the, you 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 can still see the the fishman trying to to drag the large the largest amounts of, of fish meat that you just gave it to him, and he's. Uh, he's struggling until eventually he decides to call for 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 help from his fellow uh, Kuotoa and you can see uh, a larger group of them trying to to move the carcass and uh, I don't know if you, if you bring the, if you give the, the carcass with just a uh, a, uh, a steak <laughs> missing or if you uh, cut it all out before you drag it out of the ship but anyways it's too much for just one of them so they call for help and you can all see that probably uh, if you still have any other questions for them this is probably the, the last chance you have to ask I'll ask them if they we're good. remember that guy's name. If they remember the guy's name that came through. Oh, yeah. Smart. Uh, no. Uh, Don't remember his Also, name. where are all the other sailors? Well, Fair point. Did you already eat them while we were asleep, or what? Uh, yeah, about that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> he said that you all were dead and we could just eat you, so... That's why we did. I'm sorry if those were your friends or whatnot, but they they seem pretty dead to us. I'm gonna just briefly describe Kiva and see if they ate her. Uh -huh. mm, no, uh, the only one that this uh, person you describe resembled uh, is the one that the the man took away with him. Seems like he we took found Kiva? the guy who uh -huh. stole him most. He joined? Did he try to Wait, name? when he left... Sorry, when, when he left, did he take chests with him? Did he just take Kiva with him? Hmm. What is... What are those chests you... you mean? Uh... Like wooden boxes. Oh no, the boxes are with us. He told us we could keep with the, you. Yes, he told us we could keep the the nicey rocks inside of it. Mm. Those are ours. Did he take anything out first? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Actually, not. They're not. Oh, I don't know anything about the world, but the already I just, so I just had my pirate code. Hmm? What? What's that? What if the what if the thing the uh, the wizards wanted was on Kiva? Like she used the chest as like a you know distraction. It's the it's the decoy. Perhaps. That Better you just took him out of the chest before you left him behind. Possibly. I think that the wizard was looking for just one thing that was in the chest. But yes, I think the captain knew and did some switch. 
I mean, why else take Kiva if, you know, she doesn't know it? I mean, wizards can be pretty vengeful, so maybe he's just taking her to punish her. Uh, maybe well, we could see I mean, to let us take a look at the crates. We're our friends now. We did give them food. And they ate all our other friends, so... Yeah, 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 yeah that's only, it's only fair. You know? Yeah, you, you killed might, a big you, eye for us. It might be safer for us, too, like if we stayed at your camp for the night instead of out in the open. Well, they also... The main thing with their camp, they run into issues with uh, various animals and monsters or what have you, you know, crabs, the frog, big spear eye things. Uh, they keep running into problems at their camp. So our camp may be a little bit safer for right now. Maybe. Yes. And Taro might add he wouldn't want to be in the middle of fishmen if fishmen get hungry again. We are being I mean, I feel like they'll be they'll be fine for the moment with the amount of fish we gave them. Also, we killed the big eye thing, so they might be slightly wary. Well, yeah, they 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 might be a little bit more forgiving. Yeah. I don't know. I also feel kind of weird talking bad about them when they're right here. So maybe we should exclude them in this conversation. <laughs> yeah, we're well, listening. Uh, well, uh, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you, yeah. You, you, you did kill the big guy. That was a, a great, a great uh, gift that you you gave to us. We even have the opportunity to eat him. That's an enormous uh, act of uh, of kindness from you. But we, we we did also receive many acts of kindness from that other fellow. So. And, and he even gave us the the chest. So I don't know. You you could talk to to our leader, see what he thinks about it. But he probably wants to keep the chests for himself. We don't necessarily want to take them. We just want to look to see what's inside of them. Well, come with us. Let us take us. To, let okay. us take you to. Uh, Are we all okay with going with them right now, or do you guys want to wrap them and then try it later? I feel like... I feel like going with them isn't the worst plan. It is risky, but I don't know. They seem... They seem willing to help. At least hear us out. That could be helpful. And we still have the other half of the fish if we need to negotiate, I guess. We do, right. we do also have the other half of the fish. <laughs> so we could sweeten the deal. <laughs> so okay, uh, going with them? Honestly, I'm okay with it. I feel like, I feel like if we rest down here, we may risk the danger of, you know, someone coming, you know, hurting us in the night out in the open. It's it's risky both ways. At least going with them, we have some kind of direction. You know? And we know where they so are. Yeah. Uh, we also more. know where they, they are. They may and need us. I mean, note at some point. We can't. We handled the big fish, and they were, that's a big deal to them. They were having issues with that for months. So clearly there's at least not quite on the same strength of what we are. So that may also come in handy if need be. I'm not saying we should, you know, hurt them. I'm just saying worse comes to worse. You know, we yeah. got multiple options. Is all I'm so why don't we follow them back and if at any point we start to feel like oh there's way too many of them or this is too dangerous we can always just ditch them yeah mm. we, should, we should at least hear their leader out and see what's up agreed hey, if anything's fishy there huh. <laughs> nice Oof. 
I'm only gonna take a little offense to that. Okay, let's so, go. So come with us, and they all took a swim on the water. Let's <laughs> start swimming. <laughs> oh wait. Oh well, never mind. Walk <laughs> well, over. Uh, three of them are out of sight, but the your your longtime friend comes back. Watch the matter. Come, it's, it's just a, a few feet down here. Oh yeah. I mean, I, I can, okay. It's underwater, buddy. Or is, so? is it underwater? Well, I I can, I can scope it out, see how far it is, and then come back and tell you all. So that way you can decide if you want to join or not. Right. You feel comfortable swimming down there on your own? That is up yeah. to you. I mean, like that, I feel fine with it. I'll play Water a prayer. There's me. no more demon fish. Good luck. May Pontus guide me, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, go with the Kutoya, the fish people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you go all by yourself. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm going uh, to see how deep it is to the entrance, and then when I get there, I'm going to try and go back up to tell the rest of the party how deep it is, whether they want to join me or not. Okay. Uh, now, uh, remind me. Uh, do you have a swimming speed steady? I do, I do have a swimming speed. And it's 30 feet, 30 I believe. Feet. And you breathe underwater? I can breathe underwater. Okay, nice. So the Quoto also have 30 feet, so you can uh, keep up with them. Um, and they, uh, you all swim uh, uh, to a sort of a, like a... It's probably a, a trench, okay? Uh, geologically speaking, but you see that they use it as kind of like a, a cave for them to 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 meet there uh, you see that their community is composed of at least 15 others of the same uh, type of, of creature and their um, leader of sorts is this uh, this guy here just bring it for you. He seems uh, uh, just like the others, but um, maybe a little more capable, a little more buffed. In. And he, yeah. he carries some different tools that could be weapons. Uh, he speaks to you, even though you're underwater, he, you can understand and, and talk to each other, okay? Ooh. Uh, does he speak Aquan, by chance? Because uh, I also speak Aquan. Yeah, uh, I'm pretending that this guy speaks uh, Tervanish, but yeah, he can speak Aquan. Okay. Uh, instead, he, he says, Welcome, friend. We, we usually uh, don't have too much visitors here. But I'm aware of all the, the good deeds you brought to our people, so here, come with us. Uh, uh sorry, your grace. Uh, I actually have companions with me up on the surface. Uh, is it okay if I uh, head back and tell them how deep your gem is? Uh, they don't. They are not gifted with the ability to breathe uh, the water like you and I. Uh, is it alright if I go back and uh, inform them before we commence? Well, it's uh, it's a little unheard of, but yes, do as you please. I, I, I appreciate it, yeah, your honor. Uh, and then I'm going to try and head back up <laughs> to, to uh, inform my party members around how deep it is. OK. 
Okay, you come back. Okay. Hi. Uh, how, how deep was it? Were we, was it all underwater or was yeah, it? Yeah, it was completely underwater. You, okay. Uh, it's completely underwater. Yeah. I, I don't know in, in, in distance, but it was uh, fairly far away. You had to swim for at least 15 minutes, so it's okay. very unlikely it's that they could join you there without some sort of magic or... Yeah, it seems a little unlikely that you'd be able to join me without magical means. So... That'd be all. <laughs> I'm, I'm cool being an envoy if we need it. Uh, I did tell him I'd be right back, so... So what's up? <laughs> It doesn't seem like a great idea to completely split up. But yeah. if you're comfortable going to talk to them, then that's your choice. They seem, they seem hospitable. And I, I'd rather not make an enemy of them. It's difficult. I... I... I think I am going to head back. At the first sign of trouble, I'm going to swim back here as fast as I can. If I'm not back in an hour, <laughs> raise hell. I don't know. <laughs> You're not Do back in an hour. You think we tear at the water, I guess. I guess. You know, you, you do what you feel like you gotta do. I'll be back as quick as I can. And I'm gonna head back down. Did we ever search these other... I know somebody said they wanted to look in these other boxes that are on the shore. Did we do that and they were empty? Yeah. It's, no. Okay. Nothing else. So I'm just gonna okay. sit by this fire, kind of lean up against the grass and wait for him to come back. Okay. And do you come back then, uh, Caspian? Uh, well, I'm going, yeah, I'm going back down uh, to speak with the, the fisherman. Okay. Well, so you're back. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, it was a little too far uh, for them to come with me. Uh, so I am here as an envoy for our group, if you don't mind. Of course. Here. You can feast with us. And uh, he, he points All right. to uh, a, a flat rock that... <laughs> doesn't resemble much of a, of a table, but it's what they look like they use it for. Uh, the the one that okay. w uh, brought you here, he puts the, the, um, the carcass of the big fish on top of it. And there are some other things like some algae and some um, shells, probably with some mollusks inside. Uh, as well, and they all start to, to gather around, and there is no uh, courtesy here. The the fish folks start to eating directly from the carcass of the of the big guy, and that's what's happening around you right now. Will you join? Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll join. Uh, trying to avoid the uh, demonic fish meat as much as I can. <laughs> trying not to be rude. <laughs> Uh, okay, what? I'm I'm so flustered. What was I even supposed to ask? <laughs> uh, lodging, I guess? Or, or... We were trying to get oh, the what, was in, what was in the chest, and then uh, what that guy's name was, if the leader knew his name. Uh, I'm sorry, Your Grace, uh... What, what is your name, if I may be so bold to ask? 
Yes, you talk to the great Iptush. Iptush. Okay. Uh, my name is Caspian. Uh, it is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, sir. The same. Uh, if I may ask, uh, the man that uh, gave you uh, favors and the like, the, the, the people from our ship, uh, do you happen to know his name? I uh, didn't ask for it, so he never gave his name. But he mm -hmm. was a strange fellow. I, unlike most of my, my folk here, have met the others in this lifetime. I have talked to sea elves, just like you. I have talked to other inhabitants of both land and sea, and a, a rare occasion, but in a smaller proportion, the, the ones that dwell only at land. And he was the weirdest of them all, if I may say. He sounds incredibly strange. Yes. He was of a more calmer nature than most. He acted mm. like he knew it all. That the ship would uh, shipwreck by the coast. That we could find uh, the those pretty rocks on the inside of the ship where inside of chests and that he he only needed uh, one thing from inside of it that is okay do you know what he took yes he, he searched for a few of the of the bodies on the shore including yours I suppose and he found on one of the sailors a, a, uh, I'm speaking as his character, okay, guys? <laughs> but he says, in, in a female with large protruding teeth and, and large uh, long hair, he, he found a... That would, that would, that would be Kiba, our, our captain. Yeah, probably he is referring to Kiba. He found what he was looking for on her possession. He, something that he referred to as a ladder. Something a ladder. small that fit in her pockets. And that was surprisingly not damaged by the by the water. A ladder. He found what he was looking for, he took the the body with him and he left leaving all the others and the the treasures of the ship for us speaking of uh those those uh chests and treasures uh my companions and i were wondering if we could look through them uh if that was all right, we'd be willing to help more if need be. Uh, we have more fish. If if uh, that would that would help ease uh, the price needed to, for us to do so. Uh, mm -hmm. We also heard you were having some uh, bestial problems, if I may. Uh, I would say it's safe to assume we'd be willing to help with those two, if need be. Uh, I have to understand that the man that uh, came here helped you quite a bit, and we do not wish to be rude or uh, ungrateful guests. Uh, so we, we wish to help you in any way to be able to recoup your kindness. Hmm. Uh, make a persuasion check, please. 
Okay, yeah, uh, hope this goes well. Okay, normal. Fourteen. Nice. Uh, excellent. Just a look without taking anything from it. Come with me. And okay. even deeper into that trench that Abby saw. Trench, you he, he takes you there and he starts to to dig uh, on the on the on the sea floor and you can see the the top of the chest. He pulls it out and he opens it for you. You see inside Caspi uh, just a large amount of Dirt. Dirt? Yeah. Okay. There uh, is, uh, inside of it, you see ore of a very specific mineral that, if you do not know about it yet, you can now make either a history or arcana check. I would love to make a history check. <laughs> Because I'm all about history. <laughs> yeah, no. For you, it's just dirt. Probably some. Mm -hmm. you, you, you might have a guess that it's uh, it has some value. Maybe it's for building something, but uh, it's an unknown uh, dark mineral that you have never seen. Mm -hmm. And it's. Packed full of it. Mm. A glorious bounty. Uh, I, I would like to take a couple gold out of my uh, pouch and uh, add it to the uh, the chest as like a sign of respect. Okay. Just like you know, uh, three gold. Or something. I don't have that much. What does that do? Uh, it's money from my homeland. Uh, it might not mean a lot to your people, but to me it is uh, a great gift to give uh, this currency. Uh, I, I, I need to only show you respect as you have shown me by doing this. Mm, and that, that's the... that money, as you say, is... it's funny, like the, the, the rocks. It's... it holds value to some people. Uh, you can exchange it for things. Uh, like... The fish we gave you, uh, if we were interacting with, with the land dwellers, like uh, some of my compatriots, uh, we would give money for it instead of just freely giving it uh, most of the time. Sometimes you freely give stuff, but not often. Uh, doesn't sound too funny. Uh, you can have your your go. As you wish. We don't want. To. I'll take it back. I'll take it back. Uh, all right. Well, I I guess we are done. Uh, thank you for your hospitality. Is there anything else we can help you with? If you'll be so inclined to slay the beasts that torment us when we get to to dry land, then they are, they are on dry land. Yes, we might even share some of our cool rocks with you, but only after those damn creatures are taken care of. 
That sounds only fair. Uh, it is a deal, then. I will uh, extend my hand to shake his thin. Yes, yeah. To seal the deal. All right, uh, and with that, I, I guess I will see myself back to the surface. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> so, so that went well. Uh, apparently, he got what he wanted. Uh, is an object called a, a ladder, a lat, whatever it's called, a la ladder. Yes. Uh, the the chests had this strange dirt substance. I don't know. It seems useful. I personally cannot determine the use for it, but I imagine once one of you can. Uh, I may or may not have agreed to slay some of the beasts that were plaguing them on the surface. Or it may have taken some liberties there. My bad. <laughs> I mean, it would probably be uh, good to figure out what he gave them, so it's probably not a bad idea. Yeah, get some of it, it at the very least, and it's better than fighting. Probably have them to fight them anyways on the way through the cave. Yeah, I, I kind of figured it'd be useful to have, you know. And we'd probably have to slay him anyway, you know. Uh, but other than that, uh, about it, he didn't give them their name. Uh, they said he, uh, he he probably was likely to have, have caused the storm because he knew exactly where the ship would land. He was very, it was very, he was very adamant that he was very calm, very seemed calculated and sure. And the object was I, I. Yes, one Kiva on one of the bodies. Something to that effect. That's about all I got. Uh, but, hey, you know. That works. Uh, I'm a drow. <laughs> so you didn't the know the guy's name then? He did not know the guy's name. Okay, and... Uh, on uh, judging on the, the Caspian's description, one of you can repeat the, the check, either history or arcana, but since you are depending on the description of someone that doesn't know very much about it, the the check <laughs> is made at disadvantage. Okay. Well, I have an uh, advantage on history. Could I guide in them? I don't have either of those skills, so I'm so gonna be like, sounds like I can. Yeah, you can have guidance. Yeah, I'll guide you. I have so it's a plus five. Four. You have what? I have plus five. Four. Uh, it's a D four. But you you have a plus five. But do you have advantage, or is it a straight roll for you? No, it's a roll. So it'd be if a you disadvantage. Want, Up to I you can, guys. I can ritually cast identify. But, but don't, don't we have, have to have it? Identify it? Yeah, you don't have any... Ah, okay. It's just the description, yeah. right? You're right. Mm -hmm. but yeah, up to you My guys. I mean, I can either make a straight roll, or he can make it with his plus five at disadvantage. Your, your, your roll is plus zero or plus what? Plus four. Oh, yeah. Roll, 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 I, roll, think, roll. I think the advantage... Like rolling it great would be great. I can guide you to add a d4 to that. Yeah, it's basically right, well. a plus nine when you get that vintage. And this d4. Uh, d4. Seventeen. Uh, okay, seventeen is enough. Uh, as you, as Caspian uh, starts giving his description of the rare mineral that you 
supposedly were carrying that ship. It, it finally snaps to you, Domino. You, you left Kairos with a large amount of obsidian. Obsidian is a rare crystal-like mineral which hoards magical power. Crude magical power. It is used mostly for the manufacture or the, the maintenance of magical items. So if a, 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 a flaming sword loses its, its magical charge, it can serve as fuel for rekindling. Either they were using it to transport the other item, or this dude just doesn't care about how much it's worth because he's got enough of his own magic. So either way, that's kind of scary that he was just willing to leave it behind. Yeah, that's a giant magical battery he left behind. And that's a, there was a lot of it. Yeah, whatever what it's charging, say. probably not great. It's a, it's a small fortune right there, if someone were to sell that. Uh, well, we have a means to get some of it, at least. Maybe more, if we help them out a little bit more, who knows? Maybe we can we also have... use it to track him, too, or track it back to its source. Oh, yeah, I could do like a locate, element, like locate person, something, something. Mm. Definitely could. It's definitely not a bad idea to help them out and get some, just in case. That could be useful. It could. But first, I think you guys said you, we needed rest, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. What if Alrighty. all this obsidian was part of the decoy? That I think. That's an expensive Imagine. decoy. That'd be a that'd be a hell of a decoy. <laughs> yes, but think, friend. It is. If powerful like, okay. wizards are looking for a specific object, and the captain he did hone her person, which is why she was captured. Would you not? Would you not scream? on magical protection if you were the committant to be sure that said object was not steel. But he did say yes. it could also yes. be used to charge it or maintain it. So maybe whatever she had in the box if needed that much of around it to be maintained. Maybe well if it if it needed it, why didn't he take it? Maybe he can maintain maybe it. It was done charging. Maybe what what I'm what I'm curious of what is so important to do all this like I don't know to, to cause a magical storm of that magnitude all of a sudden but like that's most intense magical storms you know you'd expect like a built up you know charging of energy but that was instant it was honest like that. No, I'm not complaining, but we definitely do all are them. not getting paid enough. Perhaps it's just yeah, we should we should really negotiate the term. I mean, y'all can't. I I did my job, you know. I think I navigated. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I can't really I can't really negotiate terms. I'm just gonna glance at the ship and be like, the navigation went well. I mean, it got to its destination, I guess. <laughs> just not the one it intended. I, I, I think I navigated pretty all right, you know what I mean? Well, considering yourself. the importance of the uh, of what we were guarding, I think that, um, how do you guys say it? We were ripped off. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So Taro would uh, would try to have a word with the committant about the pay. Yes. To be fair, the lady is going to pay us if we got captured. So it's not like we're getting paid at all if we don't live. True. True. 
Uh, when I get back to civilization, I'll have to go to the Navigators Guild and tell them what happens. They're not going to be very happy. He vote was good business. Mm-hmm. Going to be a headache for the higher ups, <laughs> and a headache for me by plugs. Okay, well, I guess all there is to do is just sleep. I guess. That said, he's probably not that far ahead of us. That's true. He couldn't have gotten that far. Well, yeah, we also don't know how long we were out. And if we run into anything in the caves, we are kind of tapped out for resources. Well, we had to be out oh, for we a while there? to drag, what, 40 or 20 people off? So I think you said there's 20 on the boat. They dragged off, like, 13 they other bodies. Them. At least like a day. That would be a day head start for him. I still find it odd that we made it to the shore with, and just kind of like gesture at my chainmail, like with everything intact, completely fine. Well, uh, I'm gonna touch my uh, my holy symbol. You know, stranger things happen on the sea. I'm I'm not too worried about that. Yes, but also tracks that to dramatically timed divine intervention. Destiny has a way of making weird things happen. Consciousness provide. Well, I guess right, we should well, rest. He's a bit ahead of us, then yeah, we might as well rest. Uh, who is taking first watch? We should probably have someone watching. I can't watch since I, don't, I just need four hours of sleep. I also need four hours. I, uh, I can trance first and then you can trance and I can watch after you, yeah, if that's yeah. alright. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. The advantages of having elves in the party. Mm. Having two elves, it's perfect. <laughs> yes. Elves and Warforged. Anyways, so with that, you managed to take a long rest. And uh, I don't think the timing is all that good, but you're supposed to have your level ups as soon as you take that long rest. So I don't, know, I don't know if you'd rather save it for later to, to level up your sheets after the session or if you do want to do that now real quick. No, I, I'd rather do that now considering what's in the case. <laughs> okay. If everybody's okay with it. I mean, I'm alright yeah. with it. I mean, it's not really going to take me very long. Um, how are we doing hit point? Yeah, you can either roll or choose to the the yeah. But you have, if you were going for average, you have to to decide before roll. And you can reroll once. Okay. So like the average yeah. of D10 has been 6 it's plus... Plus your constitution. Uh, mine would be... Yeah, it would be 5 plus... Or that'd be 4. Six. I'm roll on... Six. Nine plus. Uh, two there, which is two. So that's seven. Plus six plus oh. con. Yeah, I think I'll take the average. That doubles my HP. Yeah, it's it's really not. Uh, I gain another first level spell, which is helpful. Oh, and I gained Channel Divinity! <laughs> I get Song of Rest. Nice. Fighting Style plus Crimson Rest, or Crimson Right. Uh, do you guys think you will need some extra healing? Never I mean, healing have. 
because I can get like either healing world or cure wounds but I did have my eyes on this guy's self being burp what do you think oh. hmm. so well I have a question about this guy's self with a kanku it it doesn't describe the idiosyncratic language that the kenku used, does it? No. Mm. Up to you. Ow! Da, yeah, healing word. To be honest, like, Taro wouldn't disguise himself. He's too flamboyant for that. <laughs> what did the fish man say was in the cave? A giant toad and what else? A giant toad? Crabs. He, he described toad and crabs. And he said and something some... about floating... Ambush annoying. Crab. Well, floating annoying and talkative things. He, he, he didn't elaborate. Hmm. Actually, uh, better better saying he elaborated the most that he could with his limited understanding of, of things. And I get jack of all trades. Proficiency bonus everywhere. Everywhere. The trade of all jacks. I... Yep. Yeah. Well, half, but still. Like, I'm good at everything, guys. Uh, no one is multiclassing yet. No. Nope. Okay, no dokes. Too early for that. Next level. Let me know when your guys are, are ready. Alright. I think I'm set. In the meantime, I'm... Yeah, I'm just picking spells and then I'll be ready. Okay. In the meantime, I'm uh, preparing your character's tokens. So it has... Uh, so we have the, the health bars, the, the AC, etc. So you can... Uh, remember to have your HP and your AC always uh, updated on the, on the character sheet because it drags directly from there. Yep. I don't know if you guys are on watch together hearing the the soundtrack, but this song remember reminds me of Woody Woody Packer. It reminds me of Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry.
great. I've got my Crimson Right. And I've got my Fighting Style. And I am replacing Speak with Animals with Burning Hands. guys want to me to create uh, round tokens like dominoes for your characters? Ready. Yep, I'm ready. Let's do it. Into the cave we go. Yes. Unless, of course, we were ambushed while sleeping. Yes, you are. Roll for initiative. No, just. Just let me see if it keeps the information. Yeah, nice. Uh, okay. You're also ready, Derek? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. So, you wake up eight hours after you... you Started resting. The the place you are still looks the same. You all kept watch, and you're pretty sure no one even tried to disturb your your rest. You all wake up a little hardier, a little sturdier, and more knowledge and more improved overall for your next day of adventure. With that, there is only one clear way out from this from this cave that doesn't involve getting back into the water since you don't have any uh, any other vessel or or way to to come back to the sea. And you still have some some annoying creatures to take care of, right? So as you yes. do, as you prepare to set off. Uh, now you have all, uh, everyone has a character token. Real nice. Uh, let me see your character's HP. Uh, I think Taro and Raido, you, you have 14 HP or? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 14 HP. Yeah, casters. <laughs> so yes. squishy. With squishy. Until they start blade singing. Yes. <laughs> it's at level two, right? Yes. Damn you. <laughs> he was re really quiet during the, the level up. Yeah, I was focusing on finishing everything and then cat my new magics. Yeah, okay. But that being said, after all your preparation, you set to, to the unknown that waits for you. 
Uh, as you can see, there is just a tiny part of this cave revealed to you uh, in the lower uh, left side of the map. And that begs the question, how many of you have dark vision or are carrying any sort of, of light? I have dark vision. Uh, I, I have dark I vision, have uh, 60 feet. And I think uh, we all I have torches. I, mm -hmm. I do. Yep, we all have torches. At least we should. I have explorers packs, so I should have some. Did anybody not have dark vision? I don't have dark vision. I can hand uh, Tara a torch. Just looking to put some explorers pads. Yeah, okay, I have ten torches. I'll just give him one of mine. Perfect. Most you are the the torch bearers. Uh, I think it's just Terra that has one. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Besides, like I don't have a shield or anything, so I can hold a weapon and a torch and still cast spells. Nice. So, yeah, I'll be the torch bearer. I just put a yellow dot in you, so. Uh, if you're if you're staying in the back for at least for these first steps in, uh, that means you uh, if you take a, if you stay at least thirty feet away from from the rest of the group, that means you don't uh, reveal their positions with your with your light source. You want to to have that in mind. This first room per se from the from this cave looks like it was used or inhabited by by humans by humanoids you see some old crates and barrels here and there they do not look like those from the ship they look like other uh, crates and, and tools but they look abandoned as if someone used this place as a a hideout at least some five years ago and no one has come to to claim it back. Mm. You, you Can we see like anywhere where anyone has passed through here recently, one path or the other? Because it looks like we can go either north or yeah. up or right. You can all make a uh, all uh, not all of you, but whoever ha has the highest either investigation or survival for this, and you can give give help to to another. Again, my highest survival. I'm gonna I've suggest got, that someone do it and then root you on. I've got investigation yeah. with advantage plus four. Yeah. Do it. And I guess you can. I got some guidance. Yeah. Twenty-three. Nice. You can even add a, a D4 to that, but it's already a very considerable success on your attempt. Twenty-seven. As far as you can tell, there are small 
uh, footsteps from uh, creatures with fish-like appendages. So probably the Kuotoa uh, walked around here, uh, not too recently, but since it's not a place that has been disturbed, uh, you can still see the footsteps from weeks, maybe a month ago, okay? Uh, this, are they going in both directions? Yeah, the Kuotoa footsteps are. You also notice that they, uh, they messed around with the crates, probably looking for food, looking for, for anything that caught their attention, but they did not uh, spend too much time on it, so some of the crates are, are still closed and, and shut. But you can notice uh, human-like footsteps going north, going around here. Does that look to be the most like traveled from the Kuatoa? No, they are in equal, in equal distribution. Hmm. So it looks like we have human footsteps in addition to the Kuatoa. But neither path seems to be frequented more than the other by the fish people. So, do we follow the humanoid footsteps? Yes. Taro thinks I, I guess. our priority should be following the humans. It does seem like the best chance to get out of here. So, let's All head right. that way. Let's head north. Okay. Uh, Taro, tell me whenever you're you're planning on moving forward. Oh yes, sorry. Oopa. Because you're the light bearer, so you can make a perception check, ta uh, Taro. Okay, perception check. Immediately. Perception plus two. Oh, that one. Nice, amazing. That 20. Okay, I will tell you exactly what happened, okay? Mm -hmm. On the corner of your eye, thanks to the, the, the torch you are carrying, as you, as you were making uh, your way going through here, through the, the left path, you can see a creature with the corner of your eye, you notice it, uh, mm -hmm. skulking around, trying to be stealthy looking at you from behind one of these rocks. The creature resembles a small, uh, a tiny sized humanoid with bestial and uh, devilish features. As soon as he notice you noticing him, he turns invisible. Just like that. It's some kind of a... Oh no! Ah. Damn it. Yeah. No, I... Oh, what, what is it, Chad? Tell him. Yeah. Little devil there. Turn invisible. Uh, I look to where he's pointing. Yeah, you don't see anything because he's invisible. I, I, <laughs> Tara, what are, you, what are you talking about? I don't, I don't see a devil. Fairy fire. Ooh, awesome. <laughs> um, uh, do I gain anything uh, from the invisibility? Uh, I like, think it's a uh, field for fairy fire. Yeah, yeah it's a cube, 20, 20 foot. I don't know if we, if being invisible gets you advantage on uh, deck saves, then yes. But I don't think so. It's not targeting; it's just hitting an area. Yeah. So up to yeah, you. Just hitting an makes, area. He just makes the save, and if he fails, he's outlined. Yeah. Uh, nice. If he's still there. The exact spell for this situation. Uh, I love fairy fire. Yeah, I'll, counter I'll, spell. You already know it's it's probably a nymph, so I'll not hide the the roll. George, is that you? <laughs> and it's outlined. Yeah. Uh, let me put the little the little bugger here. Uh, first, he he doesn't seem to notice that he was revealed by by a spell. He's still looking at you, and once he noticed that that you're, you can see him. Everyone can see him. He ah, 
Oh, ah, that oh, hey, Jero. There it is. Hey, hey, there's the end. There's a little devil man. Uh, Sorry, I doubted you. Well, hello. You are hello. free to... You're free to, to tread around my, my domains. Thanks for asking. Uh, I shall leave you be if you do the same. Oh. What are you doing here? Well, uh... It's, 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 this is kind of my, my, my safe zone, you know? I like hanging out in here. Yeah, I don't know. I get some fish, eventually I mess with the Kuatoa. And what are you doing here? Yeah. Looking for a frog. frog. A frog? Yes, I know. It's a toad. He's a big one. You like eating toad? Fried sure. toad legs. Huh. Interesting. Do you need help with that? Nope. Not even a little bit. Well, don't be so sure. He's a very, no, very sure. He's very capable of... Um, no, I'm not trusting this thing. <laughs> Uh, look, you seem like a uh, thing. Look, uh, what what are you doing here? How long have you been here? Well, you know, sometimes okay. we sometimes we we decide that uh, the agitated city life is not for us, so we have to to go out, experience the world, just, breathe just some leave. fresh air. You know, I mean that phase of my life right now. Demonic midlife crisis, alright. <laughs> Who's we? Are you talking about other imps? Uh, other Elborn? Uh, he, he looks back, he, like he, if he's trying to, to see someone behind him, but no, no, it's just me, just me. And, and I do it a perception. <laughs> Investigation. Yeah, just me, right? Yeah, because that's not suspicious at all. <laughs> Absolutely gonna, not. We're going to activate Divine Sense to see if I can see any Ooh. other evil or demonic creatures within 60 feet of me and then start moving towards them with my fear. Excellent. Uh, Ooh, we came, if you come we came close, prepared. Yeah. How close do you want to to go? You don't want to get too close because yeah. it might spook him. Uh, okay, so 60 feet from there, you can sense two other fiendish presence other than the one you're, you're seeing right in front of you. Okay, so I would tell everybody, there's two more of them over there. There are two more fiendish mm -hmm. presences like him. Uh, okay, you got me. Looks Car like you're not being too honest, honest friend. Huh. And what about Any you, eh? Also, also, I can, like, feel if they're evil or not. Yeah. The Does devils, he feel evil? Yeah, devils are innately evil. Alright, well... What do you mean, what about us? Well, I'm sure you're not just here for some frog. Especially if you come from we're, that way. You know, we're, we're here for the sightseeing. You know, it's just... Glorious, cavernous view. Yeah. Well... Yeah. If that is all, then... As I said before... You're free to, to roam over my domains. I'll have my eye on you. If you need any help, maybe I'll show up. Appreciate it. Do your friends want to come out or? Okay. 
He just hangs on the top well, of, a, of a rock, stays there. <laughs> he doesn't even. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we should get going. Since he's a little further away, I'm gonna be like, guys, like they're gonna. He's gonna follow us, and he's likely gonna wait he's, for us to not he's, know he's there. Yeah, he's and definitely gonna that follow us. Probably a lot worse. He's unlikely to just help Dude. us. More likely to stab Dude, us. Did we deal with him? I mean, it was just three that you sensed, right? It was just three, including him. I mean. Yes, I sensed three of them, but I would assume the other two were invisible. I don't know. I mean, Seems like a just... waste of resource. We still have, like, yeah. probably a long way to go down this cave. It's a waste of resources yeah, until they stab us from the back in the middle of another fight. I think we should probably wait. We should probably move on, wait a little bit to deal with the bigger threat. We don't want to go to the bigger threats underpowered. You know what I mean? That's fair. I'm not sure if frog's a bigger threat than demon imp. Oh, I mean... A giant frog. It's, it's an imp and his two infernal friends. I mean, like, there, that, or a big, big toad. Uh, we don't even know what else is down here besides the toad. Yeah. We heard those, like, crabs, the weird eye circle floating things. Yes. We, we don't really know what we're up against. We know they're here at the very least, so we can deal with them then. We know they're probably going to be a problem later, and we can uh, act accordingly. Okay, do you guys think so? I think so. I'm just not sure you can make us able to see them again when we're able to see the one right now. I mean, it's up to you. Do you think they're that big of a threat to, you know, kill them outright? I think they're demons. Right they're now, they're not. Regardless. I don't disagree with you, but maybe wait until you know they stab us from behind. Wait until we know exactly what we're going up against, you know what I mean? We at least if we go on ahead, we'll know a little bit more of what we're facing in the cave. But we also know that they're gonna be a problem later, so they can't really surprise us later on. You know what I mean? We can be on guard that they're going to be them. They're probably going to be a problem later, you know? We should at least adjust how we're walking then and not leave the one person that they know can make them visible at the back unprotected. That's fair. Taro, uh, do you want to lead? I know that they're here and I have advantage to track them because of my Hunter's Bane feature, so if we decide we want to kill him later, I can probably help hunt him down. That's fair. I'm just saying, I think it's, I think it's better uh, strategically if we just, you know, go on ahead for a little bit so we can get a better grasp of what we're facing in total. You know what I mean? That makes sense. Okay. We don't want to then expend do wanna our resources have, now. Like maybe split the two, like Domino stay in the back in case they come after Taro, and I'll be in the front. That way we have at least divided the two people who can take hits better. I think that makes sense. Yes. Yes. Makes sense. Because they seem likely to wait till we are at our worst. The jumpos seems like their nature. Mm -hmm. Well, they are demons. Yes. How long does fairy fire last? Uh, one minute. So okay, well. After this conversation is over, it, it is gone, and he goes back invisible. Yeah, that's why I was saying. Like, mm. well, well, I guess we should carry on for now. Alright, All right, let's move. 
Bless my Okay. Let's go. Hop. Okay. Hop. <laughs> Kalos. Give it another jump. Uh, what is your passive perception score? It's, uh, 12. 12, okay. You did not do that. Uh, you, you try to see... Let me double check this one real quick. Oh, uh, there you go. Okay. Uh, so you perceive nothing. <laughs> out of the ordinary. That's a good Where? sign, right? Uh, uh, water water nearby? Totally no. Safe. The room seems empty. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna hang out on that bridge for as very you, long. As That's you for sure. <laughs> as you step exactly where you are right now, Kalos, something comes out of the mud and tries to pinch you with its claw. It is a giant crab. Uh, oh, still crab. Yes. <laughs> you got crabs. <laughs> exactly. It, it will try to... Ah, sticks doesn't hit for sure. Oh, but I have advantage because he, he, he was stealthed. Oh my god. Yeah, that didn't work Very out as, as I expected. Anyways, you can all roll for initiative now. Initiative. Ah, that's hilarious. Yeah, 20. <laughs> you bit my shield. I I'm very angry about I keep it. low on initiative. I don't think I've rolled anything past like 5. Yeah, this is my first time over like six. I got like a six and a two and then now. Now twenty. That's rough. Yeah, last one was a three. Ah, this is a low roll campaign. Um Jayless. Uh it's twenty plus something or it's just twenty? No, just twenty. I don't I don't have any dexterity. Uh, Another net I carry heavy thing and hit people with other heavy things. Okay, so uh, starting off with this grab right here, uh, he moves all the way here and he goes for a ride with a claw attack. Then to hit. Oh my god. Is that? Like mud and not like a big puddle of water. Like, could we walk through that? It's it seems shallow from from up here, but uh, you're not so sure. It it at least will hinder your your movement for for a little. Okay, based on your code, I'm not going other way. Yeah, unless you have a swim speed. Uh, but I I missed. Um, on right also, we move on to the next, which is Domino. Well, it just obliged very nicely by coming right up here. And do we have flanking rules in effect, DM? I, I, th I say we, we can have those. I really like uh, flanking rules. So, but yeah, uh, last time you said it, we got a plus two for yeah, flanking. Uh, or are we doing an advantage? I was about to say that. You, you gain plus two instead of advantage. Alright. Ugh, that's not gonna hit. Ten. Yeah, it certainly will not. They, their shell seems very, very resistant. Exoskeleton better, better say. Anything else for your turn? I don't think so. Nothing I want to use right now. Okay. Kalos, it's your turn. Okay, I'm gonna stab the one next to me. Go ahead. A 16 is enough to hit him. Ooh, 11. And is he still up? 
Uh, yes, he is. Then I'll bonus action and hit him with the other side of the spear. Nice. Uh, but a 10 won't do. Okay. okay then I'm gonna uh, move, try to block their path to my buddy. Okay, where you're moving? Oh, okay, nice. So you don't take any opportunity attacks. This guy right here will go for Domino with a plus two. Ah, what is going on? Not one. Taro, your turn. Uh, okay. Uh, let me point to the crab that's right in front of me. Yes. And do a vicious mercury. <laughs> it's a whiz save. Will save one d four psychic damage and disadvantage on the on. Seventeen. Damage. Okay, even with a minus one. I am not an insult master. <laughs> not yet. Uh, and I am readying my rapier. I <laughs> can't understand you nor nuance. Yeah. <laughs> Taro does not speak crap. Damage to the crab. <laughs> Just don't get your comedy yet. Yes. The the crab uh, which, with almost nothing of HP, managed to. Uh, I think a 19 will hit, right? Kalos, on you? Yes. Okay, so that means you are grappled. The creature starts dragging you underwater with him. Uh, it is not uh, large enough to, to drown you, uh, deep enough to drown you, but. In here, you it's ca it counts as difficult terrain, so your speed is reduced by half, and you have to make a, okay. a DC eleven athletics or ac acrobatics to to escape from the grapple. Okay, Rido, your turn. Yep, play song. <laughs> My AC gets bigger now. I think it's gonna be plus four. Plus four. I think. It's your intelligence so, on the uh, on the AC. Yeah, right? yeah, I got oh, uh, yeah. plus three for now. Mm. A... Okay. Less movement. I got plus eight to conservation, but in concentration. Right. So my with mage armor along, it's sixteen plus. Did you recast Mage Armor? Yeah, before resting. But it only lasts for 8 hours, right? 8 hours, but we pressed for 4. Yeah, but oh yeah, he pressed for 4. He oh. took the last shift. Oh yes, yeah. you, you... Okay. So you still have 4 hours, nice. Yes, just 4 hours. It's shorter, but it's worth it. So it's a 19 for now. In, I'm gonna use a uh, green flame blade for the first time in my life. Yeah! I'm gonna try a dagger hit. Nice! Wow. All the crap is next to me. Yeah. It's seven damage. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, uh, in the. Uh, Because a green fire to leap from a to different creature of your choice, which you can see if you try to do it. Hey. Not good, but okay. I'm just gonna hit no more hits. Oh, the, the magical damage is only on the yeah. adjacent creature. Yeah. I see. So it's gonna be more than for now. So that is it for now? Yes. I could have used booming blade, but I don't believe it's gonna move with this. Okay. The most vulnerable uh, target it's scaleless. So another crab will try to attack you. With an 18 plus 2, 20. For 7 extra damage. Uh, have you reduced the, the damage on the first attack? 
Uh, Kalos? I was, just putting, I was just putting it in the red box to count up. Oh, on the red box, okay. But I can reduce it if uh, you want. Uh, anyway. If you prefer, use the, the on your token, right? The, the, the green bar is your HP. Yeah, I'll do that. You so just need to, to do the math. So you click on the 25 and yes, and reduce it by the amount. Uh, okay, and you are grappled by two different crabs. I don't think a creature can be grappled by by two creatures. I don't. And usually when they grab you, you get an athletics check to like avoid being grappled. But... No, but uh, the attack uh, says that once the attack hits, you are grappled. And then you have a escape DC, which is on your turn you can spend an action Let's to stab him. Yeah. I'll say that Yeah, you... I don't think you can be... I was gonna say I don't think you'd be multi grappled because if that was the case you could surround somebody and grapple them like four times and they could only break free of one each turn and they could just get re grappled. Yeah. But yeah, I'll just stab him on my turn anyway. No, in anyways. Um This one moves here and will try to attack uh Kingspin. Caspian. With a sixteen Caspian? Uh does he hit me? Yes. So the same shall happen to you, my friend. You're dra- Oh, but I- uh, uh, Forget it, I already moved. I don't have enough speed to, to do that right now. There's three damage. Okay. This guy will, uh, will swim here to attack Dami. With a 10 to hit. Miss. Uh, this will go right here for- for Caspian as well. Nine to hit. Uh, no. And this one will go here at Ryder. Twenty-two. Does it hit Ryder? It could hit. And yeah, I'm just gonna take it this time. Okay, so I moved ten feet. So I still have twenty, which means I still have ten. So. I'll drag you with me. Uh, you receive three points of damage, and last but not least in this round is Casper. Okay, uh, which I, uh, one is uh, are any is anyone grappled by the crabs? Kalos, That's like near me. Uh, Kalos and Rido are both grappled. So grappling okay. doesn't stop me from taking opportunity attacks on people, right? No, it doesn't. It just says, and then I, can I take an opportunity attack on the guy who's being dragged over mm. by Rydal? Yeah, yeah, you can. 19. 19. Yes, you hit. Plus. For how much damage? Uh, 2 plus 5. 8. Nice. Okay. Uh, is he still grappled? Yes, they they only leave the grapple once you uh, once okay. you manage to escape or uh, you kill the, the the creature. I know I am a broken record, but I gotta try it. Uh, do they have a swim speed? These crafts? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to communicate to the one that's grappling him. Uh, let him go. Meat, 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 food, food, food. Oh, you can't, you cannot understand them, right? I can't understand them, but they can understand me. Yeah. Uh, okay. I will ask if you want to try and persuade them or intimidate them. You can roll either animal handling or one charisma-based skill uh, in, in, instead of your normal action. You have to spend an action to do so action. Okay. That's fine. I'll do that. Uh, let me see. It's all the same, so I'll do uh, personal. I, uh, normal? Uh, actually, it should be disadvantage because the creature already received damage from you. you engaged in oh, I didn't receive damage from me. Yeah, from your group. I I mean, I didn't hit it. I haven't done anything. 
Technical. Same principle as any uh, enchantment spell that says that once you're engaged with a creature, it's hard to... to That's fair. Advance. Okay, it's so disadvantage. Yeah. Okay, I'll do persuasion, please. Four. Meat, okay. meat, food, food, hungry, hungry. I don't know what you said, but I'm gonna take that as not good. All right. <laughs> uh, has anyone, has anyone been hit? I got it. But I took eleven damage. Okay. So. Okay, I'll 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 uh, I'll healing board you. Uh, and I'll put on my healing 1d4 plus my spellcasting modifier, which is. Uh, it'd be plus 2. Okay, so it's d4 plus 2. Nice. Four and then plus two to the okay, so it's right, guys, one second. Get six back. Boy. Wait, so it's good. Sweet, so he heals six. You got it. Uh yeah. I'm back, sorry guys. <laughs> I mean, you gotta, you gotta try to, you know, talk your way out of it. Yeah, it's the, it's one way to, like, I mean, I mean like, you know, you gotta give it a shot. <laughs> you know, I mean, like, our space are friends, you know what I mean? <laughs> you gotta at least give it a shot to go peaceful. Uh, but you, so you try to persuade and then you use a healing word and, uh, are you going to do uh, anything yes. else? Uh, can I, am I still grapple? Yeah, you grapple, your speed is zero, actually. Then, no, I cannot do anything. Yeah, I uh, forgot about that one. Okay, uh, another round, um, a crab will try to attack Domino. Domino, like a beast, dodging from all the attacks, but Domino, as you are uh, surrounded by three fearsome giant crabs you can hear a voice whispering in your ear all of a sudden the imp appears next to all of you saying oh, I see her in a bit of a tight situation maybe I could lend some help for you after all I, I, I know these guys they, I allow them to live in my domains I rule over them if you want, I can help. But no, 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 no. He only says that. Domino, it's your turn. What do you do? Domino, <laughs> steals. Uh, Ignore it. Ignore the temptation. I am going to try and move this way and this way. Okay, you will receive two attacks of opportunity, okay? Uh huh. What is going on? Okay, will a 16 hit you? That. Yes, I think it does. Okay, since his, this attack automatically grapples, you are stuck here. Am I st well, which one was taking the opportunity first? It would have been the one that's yeah. almost dead, right? Yeah. So I'm stuck there. I didn't move at all. No, but the one, the, the one that hit you was the second oh. one. Okay. All right. So then let's see here. Taking a tet. Well... There's so many crabs. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we'll let all these crabs in here. It's just, it's just so, just so good. 
bonus action, I'm going to activate my Crimson Right. I will take 1d4 Necrotic. That is one point of damage. My weapon is now infused with electricity, and it will be dealing an additional 1d4 electrical damage on a hit. And I am going to smash this thing in front of me with a 19 to hit. It hits? The one that's got me grappled. Okay. So it's going to take... And it's also going to take a d4 of lightning, which is four more. That is 15 points of damage. Wow. Nice damage. You managed to slay the beast in one hit. You still have now the, the rest of your movement. Um, I'm going to circle here and circle here to get between Taro and the other crab, and then I will end my turn. Awesome. Kalos, you're next. Okay, I'm gonna try to stab the one that's grappling me. Yeah. A 10 will not do. <clears throat> okay, then I'll bonus action and try to hit it with the other side. Now it's a hit. <coughs> nice damage. And it would take nine. Another one of these scraps gone. You may now move, but remember you're still in difficult terrain. Just gonna move there so that we're flanking him. Okay. This crab right here uh, will try to attack Domino. Uh, Domino, you take you took how much dam uh, how much damage from the the claw attack that hit you? Oh, three points of that's damage. That's right, three points. Okay, let me add that. Sorry. Okay, a twelve. Um, your latest attack does not hit. Yeah, the twelve won't. Probably won't do, so Taro, you're next. Okay, um. Uh, vicious mockery on this crab, the one that's. Wait. This one. Okay. Wisdom save. DC 13. Wow. Okay. Takes. 1d4 psychic damage 4 max and damage ha and has disadvantage on his next attack anything else? Uh, I think that No, because it, it's a country can it's a country and it's a full action, so I can't do more. I am hiding behind my companion, hurling <laughs> insults. Right, -o. as all bards do, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right, -o, your turn. Yeah, I'll try to hit that one this time with the okay. green blade again. It's just a dagger hit. Okay. This one takes six, and this one takes three. Uh, you wrote a three? No, it's just uh, my modificator. Ah, uh, yeah. Fire damage equal to the spell casting ability modifier. Only after f uh, fifth level you may add. Yeah. Nice and wow. And stay there. Uh, okay. This creature is not grappling anyone, so it will try to attack. Uh, yeah. Uh, you can do a opportunity attack if you want, Raido, because he will 
flank yeah. Kalos to they gotta get mm -hmm. a 12 is a miss uh, hey, so. but on Kalos uh, 13 I think is a miss as well yep this grab we try to attack uh, Caspian a 7 uh, nope this is the one that's grappling you, right? I think so. Okay, I'll take you to the water with me. Oh, great. Um, the water is perfect. <laughs> ah, yes. Thank you. The one down here will try to attack uh, Rido. There's a 14, I don't think so. Your yeah. AC is very... Really buffed. Okay, this guy here will try to attack you, Rido. And after that, 17? No? No. After that, he tries to, to make a run for it. But he triggers attacks of opportunity from Kalos and Casper. Uh, opportunity attacks? Yeah. Yep. How do I do that? <laughs> Just roll a normal attack. Yeah, it has to be a there melee go. weapon attack. I got a 10. Okay. So, like, my spear? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yep. Uh, it's a 21. Advantage. You don't have disadvantage. Yeah, I... Uh... Yeah. Would we get flanking before he moves away? Roll your damage. Uh... Da, da, da. A D6. Six. Oh well. Wow. Awesome. Mm. Nine. She stab it and uh, it blow fucking explodes. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the crab that grappled me. Did it grapple me regardless if it hit me or not? Or did no, it grapple me? It, uh, yeah. On a hit. Yeah, he hit he you it did, on it the did first hit round. Oh, wait. On the first one? Yeah. On the first round. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I missed that. Uh, in that case, the one that is grappling me, I want to inflict wounds on it. Ooh, wow. brutal. Nice. Go ahead. Let's, let's, 20. Nice. It's a hit. Wow. Yes. All right. Pretty tip. D10. Oh, Lord. Overkill. Brush. These, these are the good rolls. Yeah. Do not touch me. Bam. That's when it dies. <laughs> you just roasted it in its own shell. <laughs> hey, you know. Hey, hey. Watches, crabs don't bother me. <laughs> you may... Uh... Walk now if you want. <laughs> You're no longer grab. I mean, I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'm just gonna swagger on over here. <laughs> so Watch out for opportunity me. attacks. Yep. yep, yep, yep. That's fair. Uh, I'll, I'll take the hit. I think it'll be fine. If it hits your your grapple again, you cannot move. <laughs> but and there are two. You know what? Yeah, it's two. It. So you you take two attacks. Yeah. Oh, I killed. I killed the one. So there's only one that I got. Now there's, there's, there's one above me and one right there. So there's two within reach. But they both Neither one hit. Yeah, they both miss. They both miss. Oof. It's worth it. Oh darn it! This this grabs me. Uh, right. They're too weak. I'm all out of here. And he... <laughs> I'm all out of here. Did he go right by Taro? Can Taro attack it? Yeah, he didn't. Um, he didn't enter his his range. Oh, drat! Um, me, 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 me. I'm I'm gonna attack Rido here. Ooh, 19 for six damage. It's the AC. 19 for six. Uh, and gonna, you're coming with me. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna see for the bottom stats. Oh, okay. So forget that. I'ma just leave. <coughs> just you. because that six is a uh, is a huge damage. 
Yeah, for me. And you already, well, you're using... Oh, but do you have your Shield? reaction? Because you... You opportunity attack before, right? Oh, yeah, it, it's not my... It's not my turn yet, so yeah, I, I will take six. Ha. I thought you had rotated already. Aye. Yeah, you're not... Uh, your round is still to come. This is the first round of combat, so... Domino. Alright, let's try and take another crab down. The one that grabbed me has had this disadvantage, so we can attack this one. That is a hit. That is. Mm, all right. 11 plus the d4. That is 14 damage on the one right next to me. You didn't take six damage. Yeah. Wow. And the one right in front of you, Domino, he fucking explodes. And oh, I will just mosey on right up here and just look at the crabs, <laughs> waiting for it. And he says, Bear. Well, I, I think the uh, tide to this combat have changed. <laughs> In her favor. Okay, your turn. Riddell, How to turn is Riddell tables. still next to me, or did he not get dragged over there? He did not. Uh, the the crab that uh, hit him was under vicious mockery, so he had his advantage. I rolled again, and it was a miss. Cool. I'm gonna stab the. I guess the one. So it would take six damage. The and I'm gonna bonus action. Which one? The, the bottom or the top one? Bottom. The bottom one. Okay, he's still I'll alive. Action, <laughs> then I'll bonus action hit the guy. Uh, I guess above me, the other side. Yeah, Taro can finish him off if he's just mockery. Okay, it hits. Six damage. Nice. And you stay there? Um... Yeah. Or wait, I'm gonna... No, I'll move. Okay. As you make your move, Taro, your turn. Okay. I'm moving... Here. And... I am... Do... Vicious mockery to this one here. Okay. Come back, you stupid walking crab salad. You have a face only a mother would love if you had a face. <laughs> if you roll one damage, he's still alive. Otherwise, he's dead. <laughs> okay. 25%. So roll 1d4. Ha! <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? <laughs> he set you oh, up on that. I felt, it. I felt it in my core. I am definitely <laughs> not the insult master. It's okay, these crabs are just dumb. <laughs> I, right. I believe you, Tara. I believe you. Just insult their mothers, They're call dumb. their mothers scorpions. <laughs> I'll it was the same. It was, it, it, was, you know, it was probably the face clip. They do technically have faces. He's really focused on that. Why well, you guys are so obsessed with this guy? Let him live. <laughs> Maybe he will bring his <laughs> big body. He's dead. <laughs> Maybe he will bring an army. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want no king crab coming in here. And then I'm gonna move like one, two. Okay, so this guy will still aim for Kalos with a 14, I don't think that hits, and he will try to bail. Um, now I now he will trigger both opportunity attacks. 
if you want to spend your reactions on that. A 12 is a miss. Will you try, Raido? Yes. Okay. A 14 is a miss. <laughs> Yay. And this guy behind you, uh, no, he, he actually aims for, for Domino. 18 on Domino. Rude. Finally. And uh, he drags you into the water with him. Yes. Uh, Caspian, your turn. Okay, I should have done some. Okay, this is this is right here. Okay, I'm going to move right here, uh, and I'm going to uh, two-handed spear this thing. Seventeen. Yeah. And he's sitting on he's 1 cool. HP. A, he so. did. 1d8. Six. <laughs> I just literally, like, stab him straight. Like, like stab, I stab straight down with both hands. <laughs> it is it's still a difficult terrain for you, Dominic. What do you do? <laughs> 17 to hit with my crossbow. And that'll be six points. Oh, sorry. I gave it all away. Oh, oh, hey. And you're only receiving 25 XP from me. <laughs> <laughs> but ratios. <laughs> yeah, really. Um, but a box of Oh, crab. Yeah, crabs. <laughs> Somebody kill that crab. The apex of evolution. Get it, Callus. Come on, Callus, you got this. Come on, man. You have to uh, 15 feet of movement in these muddy waters. What do you do, Callus? Okay, we're gonna. Oh, uh, there's not one near me anymore, so. Uh, I'm gonna... Are there any still around? Yeah, up north. There's the one. Oh, okay, up there. Yep. Don't have a crossbow, do you? Um, I have got him. Throw a javelin no... at him. Uh, it, yeah, want to save our spells if possible, probably. And then I'll just throw a javelin at him. Okay. Yeah. That's enough. With his one HP, he cannot survive any more damage, so that's enough to slow oh. the last of these giant crabs. The, I'll wait over and collect my javelin. <laughs> the, the, crab the terror of the fish folk are now pretty much put to, to death. You still have well, maybe the, the imps and possibly a giant toad to deal with. And uh, on top of that, you still have to find your way out of this damp, muddy cave and find some fresh air, some dry land to to explore, to maybe find out where you are, but that all remains to be seen next session. Yeah. Okay. And before we stop, I'm gonna cast Eating Word on Domino. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I would. Uh, uh, I'm gonna, I would I'm not do that. that and just let me touch him because I can just give him five hit points and then you can save your spell oh, slot. Right, right. Oh, that works. Yeah. So I'll just walk over. Well, are you missing? Yeah. I'll just touch you and give you five hit points from 
lay on hands and then do the same thing to myself to heal myself. Sounds good. Close enough to full it'll work. Nice. Remember just to have the ointment. Although it's a, a consumable. That heals a lot. Yeah. Although it's a consumable, it's I think it's less valuable than your your own spell slots and and uh, resources that in, in a place like this. But who knows? It shall remain to be seen next time. So we're skipping next Monday, and we come back on the first of April. Okay. Or yeah. do we? <laughs> because it's the <laughs> the first of April. I don't know. Is that a thing for you guys as well? Uh, yeah. Uh, April yeah. 1st. April 1st.